Hello everyone, in this video we will learn how to create employee incentive and how to create additional salary. So let's go. Now additional salary is something which is not included directly in the salary structure. It is um, additional salary is like something that you create separately and that depending upon the payroll date it is added in the salary slip of an employee. Now using additional salary you can add salary or you can deduct salary based on the salary component. Since we have seen before that salary component is of two type one is earning and another one is deduction. So depending upon the salary component um, the salary will be added or deducted. Now here are some of the examples of additional salary for example let's say you want to give some some of your employee a performance bonus so you can use additional salary document and also if you want to create some incentive so you can do that also now there might be a little bit confusion regarding additional salary and employee incentive in ERP next since we have employees incentive document separately and we also have additional salary document as a separately in ERP next so what we'll do is we'll first use employee incentive and we'll create it and we'll understand what it is and then we'll move on to the additional salary. So let's go. Now here right now I'm in the payroll module and if you see that over here in compensations I have additional salary over here and I have employee incentive over here like this one. Alright, so what I'll do is I'll go into the employee incentive since the first thing we are going to do is create employee incentive. So I will create new employee incentive and for employee incentive it's for whom Kevin okay great and let's add a salary component from over here so I'll consider incentive as a salary component and you will add a payroll date now this payroll date is really important because based on this date the salary slip amount will be amount in the salary slip will be included based on this particular date so we will be adding an incentive amount over here let's say i will add an incentive amount as six thousand all right and let's save it now and let's submit it so now the employee incentive is created now whenever we create an employee incentive along with the employee incentive additional salary is also created like if you see this one is created just now the amount that we just added 6000 and we included salary component that was an incentive component now what do I, what I'll do is I'll go into this employees document and I will create a salary slip for that so that we understand it in a better way now all the details should be fetched automatically by now employee 16 let me select again Kevin all right so here the designation and everything is fetched okay we have the salary structure also so since we added the incentive date as today's date that is a fifth of May now if you see in the earning component I have this incentive added over here now this incentive is actually coming from the additional salary document which was created as soon as we added employee incentive now what I'll do is I will just for the demonstration let's say I want to create a salary struct salary slip for the month of March so if I select the month of March over here you'll see that the incentive will not be included because of the payroll date that payroll date is really important based on that the components are added over here so this was about incentive now we'll go into the additional salary and we'll understand like what exactly it is now this is the list of an additional salary so let's say I will create a new additional salary for this particular employee now here you can add a salary component so what happens is I think there is some glitch over here because the salary components are directly not filtered over here even though the company I have included then also so let's just create a new salary component for now and let's say I want to give a bonus that is quarterly bonus QB and also make sure to include the company over here and the account over here that's it I will just save it now and okay so the component is added over here now again the payroll date is same as the one that we saw in the employee incentive like the working of it is similar to that because if I select the month May as a like 5th May 
so only for that particular month this particular component will be added and let's um, specify some amount over here consider that I am adding 10,000 as the uh, additional salary amount also we have the recurring option over here so recurring feature it allows you to create an additional salary for a fixed interval so let's say I do is recurring and let's say I added date from January 1st to let's consider March 30 mm, yeah 30 so what will happen is for each of this month whenever the salary slip is created at the end of the month this particular component that is quarterly bonus of 10,000 will be included all right and override salary structure is basically just we saw that what happens is that this particular component will be added along with the other salary structure components like we saw the incentive was added right it wasn't there in the salary structure but it came from this additional salary I hope I am clear okay now next one we have is the deduct full tax on the selected payroll date so if you select this the full tax need to be deducted if you want that full tax need to be deducted on the additional salary so you can select this particular option now let's save it and what I'll do is we'll try to create again a salary slip and see how the components this quarterly bonus component is coming or not so let's go to salary slip and let's select new again and what I'll do is I'll select Kevin again because it takes some time to like fetch all the details okay now it it's coming all right so if you see there is a quarterly bonus over here which should not be there so what I'll do is I'll go back for the month of April okay for him for the month of April if you see it's not there and let's select for the month of March it should come for the month of March over here let's select first of March and here it should come all right let me select first March to 30 March and then it will be selected end date let's say 30 and then it will come since we have added the um, additional payroll date as the 30 March that's why you see this one and what I'll do is I'll go back for the month of February then also you can see that this particular quarterly bonus is added and if I go to let's say the month of June we should not be this particular component should not be there so it's not there over here so I hope I was clear and clear about the additional salary and how to add an incentive so if you have any doubts you can ask them and we will reach out to you with the solution and also in this one also you need to make sure that the all the components you're adding properly also the additional salary component I think there is some like it's still in development or something because sometimes there are errors that happen so maybe they will be like resolved in some days thank you so much for watching everybody bye